Using the view switcher buttons, or your computer's tab key, switch to session view if not already open. When live launches, it loads up an empty set automatically, containing whatever track layout is saved as your current default. Out of the box, this is usually two MIDI tracks and two audio tracks. In session view, these are represented vertically. To begin creating a beat, go to the category section of the collections pane and click the drums tab. This brings up a list of the factory default drum kits that are installed with Live. Make sure that the small blue headphone icon is enabled in the lower left corner. This will play a preview of each kit when you click on it. Click on the first kit in the list to audition the sounds. Once a kit is highlighted, you can scroll through the list using the down arrow key on your computer keyboard to audition the next item on the list more quickly. Alternatively, just scroll down the list with the trackpad as normal and click on any kit you like the look of. When you find a kit you want to use, there are a couple of ways in which to load it. You can drag and drop it from the browser onto the MIDI track you want to use it on. Alternatively, simply double click its name in the list to load it into the next available empty MIDI track. The buttons in the clip slots will change from squares to circles once the kit has loaded. You should now be able to play notes on your MIDI keyboard or pads on your controller to trigger the drum sounds in the rack. The layout of the sounds in the kit, along with the waveform of the last played sample and a set of parameters to edit the sound of it, is displayed in the device view for each sound you play. The track should be record armed automatically indicated by the red icon at the bottom of the channel strip. If not, click the button to turn it red. Before recording anything however, go to Edit, Record Quantization and select 16th note quantization. This will automatically line up any notes you play in time with a 16th note grid as they're recorded. Click this button to enable the metronome to keep things in time as you play in your beat. The default count in is one bar. And you can select which sound you'd prefer for the click. Choose from Classic, Click, or Wood. Choosing the Enable Only While Recording option will avoid you having to keep turning the metronome on and off again as you record and play back new parts. To start recording your first clip, click the round button in the first clip slot on the MIDI track. Play some notes in from your keyboard to program your beat, then click the round button again to exit record mode. The recording will begin looping automatically, but if you want to stop playback, hit the spacebar to stop when done. Click the clip view selector and the notes you played will appear in the piano roll editor, nicely quantized or aligned to the grid. From here you can add extra notes, delete notes, or move notes around. If you need to overdub extra notes, simply click the session record button. This will drop into record and allow you to play new notes over the top of the existing ones.